Hello everyone. We have come to the last uh, step under module four and also we come to the last part of the program because after this module five is just a summary which I'll finish it off with together with module four step three. Now as we just to recap uh, we talked about the power of subconscious mind, we talked about law of attraction, how powerful law of attraction is and we want to look into the fact that a lot of us live by default because we do not know how to design our life. And we're talking about designing our life. I talked to you about in module four, there are three steps. Step number one was to identify what you want. Step number two is to give your desire attention, which is you do it through three more, three methods, which is affirmation, vision board and visualization. And um, in order for you to be able to then really manifest your goals and your desires, you must do step three, which is you must allow it to happen. What do you mean by allow it to happen? Well, a lot of people ask me, Mr. Karthi, what is allowing to happen? Well, the speed at which law of attraction manifests your desires is in, in a direct proportion in how much you're allowing. And allowing is the absence of negative vibrations or doubts. If you are very um, positive, you are very confident, you are putting in all your thoughts and your processes within your vision board and your affirmations and your visualization, you have the faith your purpose is good, then you would need to understand that you will manifest, you will achieve miracles. Now, allowing also uh, comes with um, some methods, some tools, which I'm going to share with you. Three tools that will really allow you to um, uh, manifest your miracles and to get rid of these negative vibrations and doubts. Let's to go through the three uh, tools that will help you to allow um, manifestation to take place. Tool number one. Tool number one is you need to record everything that you are grateful or thankful for on a daily basis in a gratitude, in a gratitude journal. What you got to do on a daily basis is, preferably before you go to bed, is that you record down on a book or on an app, you can download from an app store, everything you're grateful for. I'm healthy, you know, I, you know, I have a roof over my head, I had food today to eat, I've got clothes to wear, I have a beautiful loving family, you know, I, I met some good friends, I've got a job, you know, I, I, you know, I get paid a salary or I make commission, I made some sales, I'm, I'm, I've got parents, you know, anything you're grateful for. You see, there are 7 billion people in the world and uh, a lot of people are hoping and wishing that they can get a lot of things in life. I think if the universe wants to give you something, the universe will also look at whether you are grateful for what you were that has been already given to you. No matter how bad you think of your life, no matter how awful your life is, I'm sure you can think of something positive to think about. Simple as, I'm alive. Now, a lot of people complain to me about financial problems and I always ask them this question, would you prefer to have financial problems or cancer as an illness? Now, a lot of people who have got cancer wish that they could live longer because cancer is a terminal illness. And they wish that, you know, they don't mind being poor, but they want to be healthy. They are not talking about the money that they have. But on the other hand, you should be very thankful. You might be poor, but you're healthy. Because you can always earn the money. You can always make the money. But you cannot regain your health. Because once your health is gone, it's gone forever. So I'm sure on a daily basis, you can write something to be thankful about. It could be the same thing every day, like I write every day. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that I'm alive. I'm glad that I have a family. I'm glad that I've got a roof over my head. I, I'm glad that I live in a peaceful country and so on and so forth. And, and many other things that happened in my life. You know, so whatever you're thankful for, grateful for, write in your daily journal because the more you write, the more um, good things will happen in your life. And also the aura around you changes, the vibration changes. Remember I mentioned to you earlier about your phone it will only be useful to you if the reception is good. Only be useful to you if the network is clear. Now, you improve your reception with the universe of God. You improve your network with the universe of God by actually doing a gratitude journal on a daily basis. That's tool number one. Tool number two. On a daily basis, you need to make sure that you do things that brings you blessings from others and avoid unnecessary curses from others. Okay. What do I mean by that? Well, Think of anything you can do. Um, you can start with you being just nice to people, you know, uh, hold a door for them, hold a lift for them, say thank you, um, say 
you know, good morning or good afternoon, greet them, smile. These are things that people are not getting enough. So when you do it, it doesn't matter whether they smile back. It doesn't matter whether they say you're welcome and you say thank you. It doesn't matter. But you do it because it's a human being and you want to show them how much uh, you feel blessed to meet them. Or you can do things like, you know, you can give food, you have extra food, you can give a little bit of money if you want, you can tip the people that you meet in, in, in a restaurant, or you can feed the bird, you can feed the dogs, you can feed the cat, you can feed your fishes, you know, you go to a pond and feed the fishes and the swans and the ducks that are there. Well, you can do many, many things because every living soul will bless you when you do something nice. You need to be good to your parents because your mom is very important, your dad is very important. Especially your mom, she carried you for nine months. Your blessings from your mom is very important because the universe will always want to make sure that your blessing comes first from your mom, then from everybody else. So really, I would tell you, if you have got any issues with your mom, go and solve it. She carried you for nine months. She didn't dump you into the dumpster when you were born. She took care of you. doesn't matter how she treats you, how she treated you, but what you need to know, you should be blessed that you have a life. At the same time, avoid unnecessary curses. Now, what do I mean by unnecessary curses? The way you drive your car, the way you park your car, the way you treat your neighbors. If you do things um, where you are not conscientious, you do things where you do to irritate things, you speak loudly, um, you are rude, um, you, you vandalize, you use the public transport without a care. You throw rubbish everywhere. All these things will bring curses. Now, people might not see you when you throw rubbish. But somebody else who walks past and sees rubbish will say, Oh my God, I do not know which idiot did this. And that is a curse. And that would affect your vibration. So, tool number two, do things that get you blessings on a daily basis and try to avoid unnecessary curses. Tool number three is where you do Ho'oponopono. Now, Ho'oponopono is a very big topic. Very, very big. You need to probably do a lot of research on this to understand better. But simply put in the time given to me and to do this program, I would say you need to understand Ho'oponopono is a Hawaiian word. Ho'oponopono stands for accepting responsibility and it also means correcting an error. Um, so basically, if you do your Ho'oponopono on a daily basis, you will be actually cleansing your negative thoughts, cleansing, cleansing your negative energies, cleansing your negative your mistakes or sins that you've done. I, I personally believe in this because I've been practicing for the past 12 years and I know how powerful Ho'oponopono is. And I was uh, amazed when I heard about how Dr. Hugh Len, who taught Ho'oponopono to the world through Joe Vitale, how he uh, cured an entire hospital of 47 insane prisoners who were patients and the hospital closed down. I mean, do, do, do a check, do Google out. Ho'oponopono and Google Dr. Hugh Len, H-E-W-L-E-N, -E Dr. Hugh Len, you'll find out where he talks about how when you do Ho'oponopono, you are able to cleanse the aura around you, the energy around you, so your reception with the universe is better, and then whatever you want comes true. Your miracles happen, right? Um, you can solve um, problems with people, issues with people, by just being able to. Now, Joe Vitale in his book, Zero Limits, he teaches you, the way you do Ho'oponopono is to have these four sentences. Now, different different teachers of Ho'oponopono teach different things, but I like what Joe Vitale teaches, and I've been following this for the past eight years or so, and I'm very happy about it, so I'm going to teach that to you. You can just say this on a daily basis, 24-7. You can just say, I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you. I love you, I'm sorry. Please. Basically, what you're doing, you're telling the universe, universe, I love you, I'm so sorry, and... Please forgive me for whatever that is in my memory, whatever that has happened in my life, whatever the negativity, whatever sins I've done that is causing my problems. Thank you for continuously blessing me. So when you keep saying that, I love you, I'm so sorry, I don't know what is in my subconscious brain that is creating this problem for me. Please forgive me and remove it. Thank you. When you say, I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you. All the time, you would see the aura changes and many miracles happen in your life. So one of the ways to do it is that to kick off, yeah? You might have a lot of issues with people, and I tell you, because that's your immediate concern, correct? Maybe there are people in your life who are giving you problems. It could be your family members, it could be friends, it could be your colleagues, it could be your bosses, you know, or your business partners, whoever, or your clients. What you need to do is you need to write down the names of these people on a piece of paper, write down in uh, using a pen, 
write it on a piece of paper. Then what you could do is two things. One, you can put your hand on the names that you've written and just say, I love you, I'm sorry, Prince, thank you, 20 times or so. I, I'm just giving you a figure of 20 times. You can do as many times as you want. But when you do it again and again, and you so you've written a list of names of people that you are not. I'm going to give you some testimonials of what people have done. You can do that. Maybe you, you and your manager are having a tough time together. Maybe you and your spouse are having a tough time together. Maybe you and your sibling you have a tough time together. Write down the name of the person. Put your hand and down and just say, I love you. I'm sorry. Basically, what you're saying is, I love you. I'm so sorry. I don't know what um, is the negative aura that I have that I'm having problems with my brother or sister or my boss. Please forgive me for whatever memories I have that's creating this problem. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And when you do this 20, <coughs> 20 times, the aura cleanses and you get good things happening in your life. The other option you have is you can also write um, in, in pen and then you can take a soft eraser, which is actually to erase pencil writings. Take a soft eraser and you erase over the, erase over the name, but symbolically you are you're not hoping to erase the name because it's written in ink so the name would not be erased. In fact, you can use the same paper many, many times again but over the names that you've written down are people that either you don't like or you have problems with or people you like but you want them to come closer to you. Could be anything. Write the names and you just erase over it about 20 times and say, I love you, I'm sorry. So you're just doing this way. Yeah? Erasing and as you're erasing, if you've got many names, you just erase all the names at the same time and say, I love you, I'm sorry, thank you, I love you and 20 times. And you'll see miracles. Let me show you, say, give you some testimonial. This lady wrote her husband's name and started erasing. And this is a message. Very good news, Mr. Kathy. My hubby changed a lot. He's more understanding and nice talking to me. Thanks that you taught me Ho'oponopono because it really, really works. These two gentlemen, these two person, they had people who owed them money. People who did not pay them back. Miss S, she wrote on the name of the person who owed her money. And she erased. And the person actually paid her back. And this is Malaysia. I went to Vietnam, I did a program, and uh, this gentleman, Mr. Nguyen, attended my program. He had a company where he rented some services, owed him $25,000. He wrote the name and he raised, though they did not pay him back three years, but within two weeks, the boss's secretary called up and said, hey, come and collect your check, and no explanation was given, and he raised the money, and he says, thank you so much, because if not for hope, I have lost the money. This is a lady who works for a Japanese um, multinational corporation. Her vice president was actually harassing her, um, you know, um, you know, um, I don't know, verbally or sexually harassing her, uh, <clears throat> more deliberately as days went by. Of course, she made a complaint to the human resource department, but they said, you know, he's a vice president, we can't do anything. And she came for my class, so I told her, don't worry, um, why don't you write down his name and do the erasing technique and tell Ho'oponopono. And I, she asked me what could happen. I said, well, maybe he changes or maybe he'll move to another department or maybe you're, you know, you would leave the company. But what actually happened was three weeks later, the vice president actually gave a 24-hour notice and left the company. Wow, amazing, right? Um, this couple came to my program, Mr. and Mrs. Shiva. They had a son who was five years old and apparently they had, doctors had said there's a growth in his chest area, but they were not sure they were supposed to do an, a biopsy but he was having fever. They said, you know, come back in, in a month's time or whatever to check and see whether it's cancerous and whether we need to operate. What happened was that um, they wrote the son's name and they believed that um, we must have done something wrong. If we ask for forgiveness, God will save our son. And for 28 days or so, they actually wrote down and erased and said, I love you. I'm sorry. Thank you. And after 28 days, they took the son to the hospital to remove the growth. And they took the, the hospital took an X-ray and found out there was nothing wrong with the son. He was normal and he was discharged. Well, I don't know whether it's a Ho'oponopono, but the couple actually believes that Ho'oponopono saved the life of their son. Uh, I had a general manager of a company of a company who uh, came to my program, and uh, she she actually trains um, financial consultants who called up and make appointments. And what she did was she wanted to test Ho'oponopono. So what she did was. When she had this meeting in Penang, Malaysia, they all came to uh, the program and they had two name lists. Um, uh, you know, rather, she had, they, they had name lists. So she told them to divide it into two lists of names, 10 names over here and 10 other names over here. And she said, call the 10 names that you have in list A and fix appointments for your financial consultancy work. So they called up and said, hey, I work from this company. Can we meet up for a consult, uh, pro, uh, uh, briefing? I want to do a presentation. 
And all of them got one or two appointments and the highest was about three appointments. Then she said, okay, take the list B now, but now put your hand on top. And we put a hand on top and say 20 times, I love you, I'm sorry, and thank you. 20 times to, to say, I love you, I'm so sorry for whatever that is. Could be um, blocking my energy with you and whatever mistakes I've made, please forgive me. And after erasing, call them because the soul will understand. This is where the super conscious brain comes in, where it connects with the soul. And amazingly, after doing that whole point upon a 20 times, they made phone calls. Many of them got five to six appointments confirmed. And she said, this is an amazing technique. And this is a really good technique for all those of you in the sales line. A lady at an old program, she had wanted to sell an apartment, condominium. Um, but she just could not get the price right or the purchaser was not getting a loan to purchase the property. So she attended my class and then she wrote down an affirmation that he has sold the property at the right price and wrote it 16 times a day. But she also wrote the address of the property, that you know, the address of the house where she wants to sell, wrote down the price she wanted it. And she did the erasing and said, I love you, I'm sorry, thank you. And about 10 days later, she had three potential buyers who offered higher prices and she actually sold the property at that price yeah um, this gentleman uh, this lady she works in a pharmaceutical company and she says she's been achieving a target of sales all the time but 2018 she uh, she she was achieving and she found out that in the month of uh, may she she needed to do about hundred thousand dollars but she was only at about sixty two thousand dollars in on the 12th of may so what she did was um, she decided to write the name of all the clients and she started to do a gratitude and she also decided to do Ho'oponopono on the client. So she wrote down the names of all the clients. She put down um, in her hand. She also wrote down there more than 100,000 as the target that she wanted and put on her hand on top. And she started to do Ho'oponopono. And um, you know what? What happened? That on the 28th of May, her sales was $129,000. Her target was only 100 and more. But she achieved within 16 days, $129,000. I've got hundreds of this kind of testimonials. I'm just showing you some of it to tell you how powerful Ho'oponopono is. Um, Miss, uh, this lady, she sent me this message because she said, um, which is true. Um, she called me up one night and said, my sister had an accident, has got head injuries, has gone into a coma. And uh, the doctor says, there's nothing much we can do. Um, just pray. So she called up and said, what can I do? And I told her. Why don't you get all your family members, meaning pa, father, mother, and the siblings, and uh, write the sister's name, put a hand on top, or take a picture of your sister, put your hand on top, and just do, I love you, I'm talking, thank you, I love you, I'm talking. just do that, because you will erase anything negative within your life. And you know what? Um, thank to God, she says, uh, the sister woke up within 24 hours, and she's in perfect health since then. So her purpose is really amazing. Now, Hugh Lane doesn't actually teach you about erasing for others. He only talks about himself. When you erase, erase for others. Of course, um, and he, Dr. Yulian also says that follow the inspiration. Well, I was inspired to teach people where they can erase for themselves and they can erase for others as well because they feel more comforted when they put the name of others to erase. And these are my testimonials. But Ho'oponopono is really powerful. The last one, um, this gentleman arranged, uh, came for my talk. It was a two-hour talk like the one I just did. Um, it, it was in Saramban, Malaysia, and he says here, I have not slept peacefully due to work and life stress. Upon living your talk, Mr. Kati, I kept repeating Ho Ho'oponopono in my heart, which is, I love you, I'm sorry, thank you. Finally, on that day, I had such a sound, deep sleep that my wife thought I died. And he said, thank you, thank you, thank you, I'm so much at peace now. So just saying, reciting Ho Ho Ho'oponopono in your heart does wonders, okay? So do take note. Um, do contact me or through email, uh, keep in touch with me uh, if you need more uh, questions because you will find my email, you will be able to contact me and I will guide you. So module 5 is just a summary, I just want to finish up by telling you my friends. So I have told you, if you, you can live by design, so why do you want to live by default? And default by means you would have lived your life based on your upbringing, your culture, your religion, your education and your friends. I'm telling you now, Live by design. What must you do? Identify your desire, design or goals um, by sitting down and writing down what is it that you want. Number two, give your desire attention by doing three things. Write down, write affirmations, uh, put it on a vision board, do visualization daily. And number three, allow it to happen in your life. And how do you do that? Do a gratitude journal on a daily basis, write it down. Do things that gives you blessings and avoid any curses and do hope on upon all.
because this will allow you to live a life of design. I have lived my life of design once I found out the secrets and I'm here to share the secrets with you. May God bless all of you. Um, if you do follow this, and I'm sure you'll get lots of miracles coming happening in your life, do keep in touch with me. Email me your success stories. I'd like to hear it more. With that, thank you very much. And I'm glad you have completed your five modules on this program, Live by Design and Not by Default. Thank you.